everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello welcome to my channel my name is Sophie something I think a lot of people can't wrap their head around is how on earth I managed to do cheerleading with a body that well can't even manage to do the simple things in life that it's supposed to do and is pretty much failing in that sense and I get it for someone seeing it from the outside it must be pretty confusing to put it all together but here's the thing Cheerleading, and even working for that matter, isn't as easy as I make it look in the vlogs or pictures or when I talk about, you know, cheer or competitions or whatever. But then again, when is anything in life worth having easy? Okay, so my body isn't completely failing, but it isn't in the best shape either and that's part of, you know, disabilities and chronic illnesses. But one thing that hasn't changed through all of this is my stubbornness. When I love something and I want to do something, I am damn well gonna be doing it. I might just suffer afterwards. I freaking love cheer. I love the community it brings with it. I love stunting, I love tumbling, I love uniforms, I love competitions. Okay, I, I, I don't love jumps. There's just no need for jumps, just no need. But I really do love the sport. And to me, when I love something that much, I don't care about the consequences that come with it and like the aftermath of doing cheer. And yeah, sometimes a lot of the time I push myself a little bit too far and my body can't cope and I do crash, but I then recover and do it all over again. And really, I'm just pushing myself to achieve what my heart is telling me to, so I mean, you, you can't go against what your heart tells you, can you? Really? Right? Anyone else? So one of the best things that I have learned through having a chronic illness is that anything in life is possible if you just set your mind to it and, you know, you find ways around the obstacles that are thrown at you because there will be a lot. But I mean, like, look at Team England Paracheer. You've got people in wheelchairs doing cheer, you've got deaf people, blind people flying in the air. They found ways around it and made it possible so that their illness hasn't stopped them doing what they want to achieve. Okay, so the following day or days, I don't feel good and I feel unwell and I have no energy and I have to plan when I'm gonna eat around cheer nights and work. And it's not easy and it comes with a lot of consequences and pain damn it's 1000% worth it and I know obviously everybody is in a different way with illnesses and maybe there are things that you know seem really impossible and maybe in the way that you see it it isn't but there's a way around it if that makes sense if you adapt things and you really push yourself to your limits and beyond and you have people around you that are willing to make these adaptions and work with you and you love it and you're passionate about it then it's 1000% worth it it's 1000% worth the consequences and you know all the people in your ears going oh you can't be that ill if you can do it blah 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 yes you have to work 10 times harder than, you know, the average healthy person would have to do. But to me, actually, it feels like even more of an achievement by doing that. So the answer to how I cheer with chronic illnesses is simple. I make adaptions with the help of friends, family and coaches. And I use that love and the passion inside of me to help push me through all the obstacles in my way mixed with a lot of stubborn and I just deal with the consequences after which suck but it is what it is and I wouldn't change a thing. I love it and the feeling that I get inside when I am practicing or when I see my achievements from when I started to where I am now it just makes me happy and that's all you can ask for in life. 
Well, that is all for today's video. I hope that answered your question or motivated you to start something that you really want to start but feel like you couldn't for whatever reason. Either way, give it a big old thumbs up so that I know and comment below something that you're really passionate about or something that you really want to start or any adaptions that you've made to allow you to do something that you've really wanted to do. And if you're not already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have a free second. And until next time, keep watching, stay strong and stay safe. Bye guys. And to be honest, half the time we're catching the odd word you're saying and making up the rest.